This is Unicorns Gaming and welcome back to another 2D Sunday-ish and obviously today we're going to be talking about Sonic 2 well we are not, I am and um, I'm going to be telling you about my history of this game and why this was my favourite Sonic game for the longest time the longest of times anyway um, I think we should do a brief history about the game first very brief Obviously this game was produced and published by Sega. I believe it was the STI, Sega Technical Institute did it. And um, it came out in November 1992. It was a Tuesday, I know that. Because they had a big campaign about Sonic Tuesday. Gives a play on words, Sonic 2, Sonic Tuesday. Yeah, and introduced um, his friend Tails. Um, he had a little bit of co-op in there. Um, they changed up. The bonus stages, it was just a bigger and better experience. Um, but yeah, I remember the marketing camp campaign was huge. And I believe it's the second best selling game on the Mega Drive after the original. Alright, anyway, let's get to it. Okay, Sonic 2 in the Sonic Origins collections added the drop dash and obviously widescreen support. And he remixed a few, very few little things. Apart from that, the main game is mostly the same. Obviously, like the whole of the Sonic Origins collection, um, the lives have changed and are the same across all the games in there. So that's from Sonic 1, Sonic CD, Sonic 2, um, Sonic and Knuckles, you know. So as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, it says coins and that's what you can use to buy stuff in a museum and also to redo the bonus stages. This is the original Mega, well, this is the Mega Drive version of the game. As you can see, it's still in its 4x3. Not much has changed here, it's roughly the same. So yeah, that's the only real differences here. So playing either one, you're gonna be good. Sonic 2 is a bit of a change. It starts you in the Emerald Hill Zone as opposed to the Green Hill Zone, the classic Green Hill Zone. Um, generally, I prefer Green Hill Zone to start off a Sonic game, but this will do. It's perfectly fine, so that's all right. I think we should talk about the graphics first when it comes to Sonic 2. I think they are a huge leap above Sonic 1. Um, the main sprite has changed. I prefer the sprite in Sonic 2. He was my favorite sprite. He was my favorite sprite, um, especially for the areas where his animation is, he is much more of it. Um, he just looks better, he looks cleaner, he looks a bit sharper, more emotive. And then on top of that, um, he really stands out on the backgrounds that you play him on. So does Tails, which is cool as well. Um, they animate really well. And also, also, what I do definitely um, think is a big improvement, is he's, he seems to have more animation building up his speed and slowing down. I don't think this is one of those placebo effects. I think he actually has more animation than he did in Sonic 1. So that's really nice, really nice. Also, um, Dr. Robotnik and his contraptions, they look great and animate really well. Um, the enemies, um, there's more of them now um, and they animate as well and look great. Um, especially when you hit them and then your friends come flying out of them. I, I just, the, the main sprites, are really really good especially for 1992 Jesus this, this game was a looker a real looker it moved great it looked great so yeah um, the main sprites well basically not the main sprites all the sprite work I thought was fantastic personally for this game the stages and backgrounds I personally feel are almost all better than in the previous game almost almost is I think, is it the Sky Zone or whatever is the second to last um, area? That's a bit weak. But apart from that, I think they're all fantastic. I mean, look at this chemical plant. I I don't think anything in Sonic 1 can compare to this stage at all. At all. I just think this is this is just one of the greatest stages in a Sonic game. Um, it has everything you need. It's got um, multiple pathways, great speed. Um, that's not water, I think that's just wherever that chemical liquid is. You don't want to drop in there, we don't want to drown in it, that's for sure. And it's got its different colours, it's got great animation. And obviously, it's got that parallax scrolling. I love me some parallax scrolling, as well as great animation on characters. 
Sonic 2 has great parallax scrolling in almost every area. What other game has, has parallax scrolling probably as good as Sonic 2? Fun Force 4 probably tops it, but that's about it. Um, Sonic 3 and Sonic of Knuckles I haven't, to be honest, I haven't played, so I don't know. Um, I don't have enough experience about that game. But for the games that I do know of, um, Fun of Force 4 probably beats it. But apart from that, this game's parallax scrolling is sublime. It's, it's almost, almost perfect for the type of game that it is. It's just great. Multiple layers of it. Everything looks great. Everything looks nice. Um, there's just so many little bits. I mean, even in this factory, there's just little bits here and there that you just wouldn't notice. Like little lights flashing, little things in the background. It just looks like a chemical plant in a sonic universe. And the same goes for most of the stages here. The stages and backgrounds are just wonderful for me. Absolutely wonderful. The sound. Let's talk about sound now. The general sounds for like him getting hit, um, collecting rings, spinning, spin dash, um, drop dash. The sounds are great. The, the, the little icons here and there. When we need, I mean, when you get the rings, you hear the little ding, ding. That still sounds great. Um, when you use revving him up for his spinning, that sounds great. Um, audibly, everything is great. When you bounce on the enemy, little. Poof, you know that sound like boom, and then things just go poof. And when you land on the TVs, um, yeah, they're just when you crash into stuff, especially in a bonus stage, the, those balls, those spiked balls, when you get hit there. Yeah, just, I mean, look, in and out of the waves, the sound effects are just great. Um, they're marked improvement over the first one. Um, there's more of them, bigger variety, and they sound a bit clearer to me. Could be maybe the sort of Origins collection compared to Sonic 1 on the Origins Collection. But yeah, I just I just feel that um, the sound is really, really adept for this game. Um, for Robotnik, and when he's in these contraptions when he's trying to fight you, uh, the sound effects that he's got for his machines are really cool as well. They sound weighty. They sound like they would do Sonic some harm. So yeah, all the sound effects overall for the whole game is great. Um, j just once again, I think this just got improved upon the original which was great it's almost a perfect sequel for sound as well obviously um, background music now that's obviously going to be subjective but in my opinion once again I believe it is better than the first game it's a marked improvement I remember almost all of the songs like if I heard it I'd be like oh that's Sonic 2 um, I'll do the same for Sonic 1 and, but I definitely would know almost every tune there. I'd be like, oh, that's blah, blah stage or blah, blah zone. Or that's um, Robotnik's theme tune. It's just great. I mean, you know when you hear the stars, you know that's from a Sonic game. You're like, okay, cool. You know um, what stage, what background music is from. So yeah, they all stand out. They're great. Um, I like the fact that they still sound good once you get the running shoes and they speed up. It doesn't break the game. Simple things like that could have just made the game terrible, but it just didn't. So yeah, excellent music all around for me from the very beginning. Even the stages are a bit slow on some of the ones like, um, is it oil stage? Um, which to be honest is pretty boring and probably one of the, the stages that's just like, okay, it's all right. Um, but you would have thought to yourself, ah, I would have liked something a bit more, but even that background music suits that stage. So yeah, the background music I think is, is great. Um, it's one of my favorite things about Sonic 2, to be honest, is the music. Um, the sound effects here, and when you're hitting all the bumpers and stuff like that, excellent. Once again, as I say, this game, I personally don't understand why people just don't like Sonic. I mean, if you play Sonic 2, what was there not to like? Especially if you were around and used into video games in 1992 and you didn't like this game? I mean, what happened to the joy and the soul in your life? How could you not like this? So yeah, it's just great. Excellent sound, excellent sound. 
Okay, in this section, I just want to talk about some of the minor differences or things to take into consideration and that I noticed while playing the Mega Drive version versus the Soric, Soric, hello, I can't speak, Sonic Origins 2 um, variant of the game. For the most part, they play the same. Even though one of them is in widescreen, it doesn't really change the game that much. But areas which I did notice the change is actually on the bosses. Sometimes you have to wait a bit longer um, f to make your attack because if Robotnik is coming from, say, the left hand side of the screen to the right hand side of the screen, because there's literally more real estate, you have to delay your attack. Um, it doesn't sound like much, but it is definitely a consideration on some of the boss fights. Uh, so yeah, it's just it doesn't change them. It's, it's just different. So I don't know. For example, if someone was doing a speed run or they know Sonic 2, uh, the Mega Drive variant inside out, and they go to do a couple of things and they find that it's not working. It's probably because, literally, that because the game is now in one screen on Sonic Origins Collection, that some of the little things, the tips and tricks that you did may not work now, or that you may have to alter them. It's not saying that you can't find um, uh, other little tricks to do things that you can't do in the Mega Drive version, but I'm just saying that things have to be altered a bit. So yeah, so that, that's what I noticed mostly on the boss stages. And also, because um, the boss stages on the original Sonic 2 on the Mega Drive, some of them were uh, not bland, but it was 4 by 3 and they covered all the area that they need to graphically. But it would have looked a bit sparse in widescreen. So I noticed, especially on the chemical plant boss, that there was added extra scenery for the factory. Just stuff like that. It didn't make a difference in the boss fight itself, but they just added extra graphical um, scenery, like more buildings, more towers, and stuff like that. And you see that in, I think is it oil plant or the oil stage as well for that boss as well. You just see just little bits of added extra scenery, just to um, so it doesn't look as bland. But obviously, if you sh if you add extra real estate to the left and right hand side, it's gonna look a bit. Uh, for of a better word, sparse and empty. So yeah, just those little things really. But apart from that, it didn't really do anything to the gameplay. I still played it the same. I think on, I think on this stage here, at one point, when everything's crumbling around me and I was racing, there was an enemy on the PS2 version, and I didn't see that same enemy on the on the Origins collection. I mean, the enemy could have gone further left so it gone further right to the screen but I didn't notice them at all um, if I see it, I try and point it out in the video later on uh, another thing that can affect the difference between the two games it didn't affect me because to be honest um, I didn't use it because it just wasn't in my mind to use it because I was playing a game like it was the Mega Drive version but it could change the game a bit I don't know how much because like I said I never use it, it was the drop dash Simply because it gives you extra options and you can build up momentum even faster. Whereas on Sonic 2, the original, at certain points you would just come to a stop. And then you could obviously build up your speed again with the spin dash. But with the drop dash, you would keep momentum, keep moving. So yeah, that's an area which could have changed the game a lot. But for me, it didn't simply because I never used it at all, that move because it just didn't come to mind, I just forgot about it because it's not something that I use. Even in um, Sonic Mania Plus, I didn't use it that much. I don't know why, I just didn't, but I'm sure that could have um, affected the game. You probably can get through the game maybe even quicker because of it, but um, I don't know. I'm just spitballing, I'm just saying stuff that could happen. But yeah, that was the only real differences really that could change how you would play between the two versions that one move really and oh here here's what i was talking about um 
on the Mega Drive version, there is an enemy, hopefully we'll see him to the right. Him there, yeah, him. When I was playing this on the PS5, I didn't notice him at all. It, it was just, it was empty. I don't know because obviously, like I said, it's widescreen. If they would have moved that enemy further to the right and I didn't get a chance to see him, but he just wasn't there in the footage that I had. So there you go. But it's not to say that he wasn't in the, that enemy wasn't there, just that he could have been further to the right and I didn't see him. Now I just want to give, well not give, but talk about my uh, personal history with Sonic 2. Um, for the time period when it came out, not not for now. Well, okay, I'll, I'll talk about it now as well afterwards. But my personal history with, with this game. Um, this game, realistically, was the last Mega Drive game, even though it came out in 92, that I was really fully on board with. Because at that point, I was heavily into Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. That was my life. I was, I was at, uh, I was in college by then in '92, um, and it was in every arcade, in every corner shop, in every chip shop, in every kebab shop. It was Street Fighter Two, World Warrior, and Champion Edition. That's all we were playing. So this was the last game I can honestly say that I was into heavily that wasn't anything to do with Street Fighter. So yeah, this was the last hurrah for me. And that's, and that's another reason why I say I never played Sonic 3. Because people are thinking, well, if you love Sonic 1 and you love Sonic 2, why the hell didn't you play Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles? Capcom, Street Fighter 2, that's literally the reason that took over. From, from literally, what World War, I, World War was okay. We didn't really get me, but when Champion Edition came out, yeah, I was into that big time. That just got me and everyone around me. So yeah, and that's the reason why this was the last big, non, basically Street Fighter 2 game for years that I was into. So it just, just crept in in time, basically. So yeah, that, that was that. I did follow Sonic 2 in magazines before release. I was very excited for it and I was just praying that it'd be really really good um, and I loved all the pictures that I saw especially when I saw that um, he had looked like obviously uh, visually they had changed the look of him and I, I appreciate how he looked oddly enough I didn't like the sprite of Sonic 3 I mean something about his head just looks a bit weird and wonky to me but I loved the Sonic 2 sprite um, so yeah um, Tails as well and I heard there was two player mode in there uh, like a little versus racing thing and then a co-op because someone could um, be Tails as he's playing the game as well. So yeah, I was just, I was I was following this game. So when it came out, um, I think I asked my father to get it for me for my, for my birthday. Yeah, so I had it in 92, not on release, not on Sonic Tuesday, but um, say a few weeks later, I got the game. And I came home. Uh... I played the game, loved it so much, like a crack addict, I didn't put the game down. I finished the game that first um, night I got it. I went to bed at some ridiculous hour in the morning. Um, I woke up, my brother was like, oh, I didn't see when you came home, because obviously my brother's quite a bit younger than me at the time. And I was like, yeah, he goes, what, did you pick up Sonic 2? Did you get it? Did you get it? Obviously, he was excited as hell. And I was like, yeah, I got it. And I beat it. He was like, what? You clocked Sonic 2 already? And I was like, yeah. He goes, is it short? I was like, no. I didn't really get any sleep. He goes, you stayed up all night. Oh, my God. I can't believe that. Obviously, he's a little kid. And that wasn't something that he, he did. I mean, he would have loved to. But yeah, so I told him that I did. And then I let him play it. And then I said, oh, we can play it together. And we did that. And that's when I found out there was Super Sonic in the game. We, I think he controlled Tails. So in a bonus stage, um, one of the most annoying things is that Tails can lose you rings. But if you have a second person controlling Tails, that doesn't happen. 
and also Tails can, I don't know if he can grab and hold you and fly to places, I don't think that was in the original, perhaps that was a Sonic Mania thing, I'm not too sure, I can't remember, but I know that a second player could control Tails and make sure in the bonus stage that Tails didn't get hit, could it always lag a little bit behind you, and because of that, um, we got all the Chaos Emeralds, and then, obviously I didn't know Super Sonic was in the game at all, but like I said, we got all the Chaos Emeralds, and then I had 50 rings, well I had, I don't know, say I had 49, I jumped to get 50 rings, and once I got 50 rings, I jumped again to do something else, and he jumped up in the air, he changed all yellow and sparkly, the music changed, he was super fast, he was invincible, the rings started counting down, I was like, what the hell? I'm telling you, if it, we, we popped, that's like a, a wrestling reference there, like a fan, but we popped like it was Hulk Hogan versus Ultimate Warrior, WrestleMania 6. We couldn't believe what just happened. I'm telling you, my brother lost his ish. It was wild. He was like, oh my God, oh my God. I was just, I mean, I lost it a bit as well because I was like, what the hell? What's this? I was like, did we even call him Super Sonic? I don't even know if we even had a name for him. We were just like, he's yellow and golden. He's just like a crazy golden version of Peter Pan or something. He's just flying, he's levitating. I mean, right now you probably say, oh, kids these days will probably be like, oh, he's, he's Super Saiyan Sonic or something like that. By the time we had no reference in 92 in the UK, we are just like, we, we, all I know is that we lost it. We were effing crazy and we lost it we loved it so yeah that was me and my brother we loved this game we played it constantly it was our game um yeah outside of the family and me um i knew people that also loved this game it was a big thing um everyone was talking about it obviously like i said i was a bit older then so we didn't talk about it like it was in school because obviously in college there was girls around. Girls, most of the girls I knew was not into video games. In fact, almost every girl I knew was into video games. So you didn't talk about video games around girls because that was not cool. We didn't want to seem to be a nerd. Now it's different, but back then that was not the one. It wasn't the one. You, I don't know, you read your write on magazine, you listened to your hip hop music, your R&B, and yeah, you tried to talk to girls trying to be as smooth as suave as you could. You did not go up to a girl and say, hey, <laughs> I know how to, I've collected all the Chaos Emeralds and I've turned into Supersonic. No, no, you just didn't do that. You just did, woof, you'd have been a leper. No, you didn't do that, so yeah. But the people that I knew um, that was into video games, they really did like Sonic 2 and there was a lot of hype, especially in the magazines at the time as well. It was on TV, um, on the, I think it was, I don't think, what was the show? Uh, I don't know if Games Master was around still on. I think so, but I know it would have been on Games Master. Um, and then what was the one on IT? Bad Influence. Yeah, it was on Bad Influence as well. So, yeah. Oh, look, this is the stage I was talking about. Um, you see this extra stuff? Well, there was extra stuff in the background. So, yeah. So, that basically sums up my history with Sonic 2, and I've loved it ever since then. This is Metropolis Zone. I've put this in here because I don't know what was going on. When I was playing this on the Sonic Origins collection, I had a brain fart. I was terrible. I didn't see many rings, or well, when I did, they were coming out of me. This is a great stage. Um, I was just awful at it. I don't know what happened. This, this literally was me playing through the game. I'm not even choosing like old choice bits. This literally was me on this metropolis stage all three zones i was just getting hammered they owned me at one point i was laughing i was like i'm so bad what happened i when i did all the mega drive footage you see in this game was played two weeks after i had finished the game on the ps5 i was much better i didn't make all the mistakes that i was making here to my defense, to be fair, to be fair now, yes, I was bad, as you can see here. I'm Metropolis Zone, I was just <laughs> brain fart, I was god awful. To be fair, I hadn't played Sonic 2 since probably the late 90s. Since the late 90s. So that's why. 
but that still doesn't excuse how god awful i played in this song i could have edited it and tried to make myself look good but i was just like no no the shame for shame i should have walked on the streets people should have come out of their houses and be like shame shame because i deserved it i don't know what i was doing it was just <laughs> just awful i mean oh my gosh my gameplay here but i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna put all of metropolis zone it's just me getting hammered and plastered and owned by all the enemies all the botnicks i mean what that, those <laughs> praying mantises they're, they're they're an annoyance the little star things they're an annoyance but i made so many mistakes look i tried to jump on it and i miss and i bounce onto the, one of those things and i got hit ah oh, that's what's supposed to have happened in the first place it was just bad and then look i still lost the shield anyway <laughs> what was the point it's like it's oh it's got awful i don't know what happened i just all three zones i was pants it's like give back your gaming card the stage does look so nice though with all the interesting things going on in the background the music's killer ah my gameplay is astonishingly bad i mean come on look at that i actually stopped there i mean when i was playing at the time i was laughing i was just laughing how bad i was i was like i mean there what give back unicorn give back your gaming card give it back oh man just wow wow that's all i can say i mean <laughs> uh, i don't even think i saw over 50 rings i don't believe i mean i never i definitely didn't keep them that's for sure so yeah it was um it was bad i mean look at look at that i went back to try and hit him on the head a lot of the times i noticed i wasn't even looking i just didn't see some of this stuff coming spun it there and i thought yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna spin the next one go and spin it bam got hit <sighs> really bad really bad but it was still enjoyable it was just my lack of skill it was just pants really um i'm not, i can't blame the game because i still got past the stage i still got past all three um uh, acts but yeah i mean how did he get his thing back there i don't know once they're gone, they're supposed to be, and look at that, crazy, just outrageous, the lack of skill, hit him, hit him, bam, bad boy, and jump and hit him, no, just, no, not really, use your rings, mate, yeah, is it here, I think, to, oh, really, Unicron, really, it's one of them where even, Tails looks, oh my god, I'm just so poor, so poor. Um, there's one part where even Tails gets annoyed with me and he just starts yawning. I didn't know Tails had his own animation for if you're not doing anything. Look, look at him, look at him, he's not running with me. It is, look, he starts yawning at me. Bloody cheek. In certain places, Tails, you would be wrapped around someone's neck as part of a cult. They don't care about animal cruelty. They would do that to you. But you're yawning at me. Let's rewind that and show me doing some skill. Finally, finally. Now play it back in slow motion. As, as, as you do, running really fast. Look at his ears just flapping in the wind. Yeah, the speed, the blur of the shoes. Excellent animation. Oh, you trying to hit me? You don't hit Unicron. Do you know how good I am? I got hit by you like a hundred times. Not a hundred and one. Boom. A hundred points. There you go, chicken. You're out of there. Saved your life. And I'm off. Cool. Oh, um, here's a bit of random information. If you ever play the Mega Drive collection, that's on the, I believe it's on Switch, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, um, and on PC, and you play Sonic 2, don't, it's actually broken. Certain parts of the game um, 
the jumps are wrong and you can't make certain things and you hit the spikes and die there's chronic slowdown there's also uh, heavy input lag so yeah this stage is just almost impassable impassable is that a word impasse impart you can't get past it yeah basically it's just, i've tried i've tried um it's really 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 bad on that collection it's a pos basically it's terrible um don't know what sega were doing but anyway um this obviously this is the mega drive footage here this boss is uh like all the other bosses not particularly hard um near the end of the game i'll talk about my favorite boss and i will show him to you so yeah but this is this is also a great boss as well so yeah um i don't know if i beat these bosses if it's the optimal way but it's just the way that i beat them so obviously people can i know once you've hit a few of these balls uh you can time and jump in and out i used to be able to do it back in the day but i don't have that skill set now especially as i don't like I said, this is the first time I played this game since like the 90s. So yeah, old enough I did play Sonic One around about 2006 ish. So I was, and I still remember that game more than I did this one. I did play that game more. Um, the only game, Sonic games I've played in the past five years or so would have been Sonic Mania and Sonic Mania Plus. So yeah. But here's another example, there's a bit more stuff going on in the background here, in the Origins version. Yeah. But there you go. Um, the Winged Fortress is hands down the weakest stage in the game. So, you're not really going to see that. I just cut it, it's, it's terrible. It's just, it's the weakest part of Sonic 2. Um, this isn't bad, but the, the Wing Fortress is bad until you get to the bosses so I didn't really show that because there's nothing really I couldn't make it look exciting I didn't do anything dumb in it either it's just it's just bad so yeah I, I cut to just the uh, the boss of that um the, the first boss in Wing Fortress is well the only boss in Wing Fortress is also I think a weak boss as well um I think it's just cheap personally that's the one basically everything about the Wing Fortress could have been taken out of the game, in my opinion, and the game would have been better for it. It's the only weak and bland spot that I have for Sonic 2. Um, so yeah, it's. I think it's poor simply because the rest of the game is such a high standard that the Wing Fortress to me is pants, is rubbish. Yeah, I don't like anything about it. So yeah, that is just bad, really bad. In my opinion and this video is all about my opinion so yeah oh well it is what it is and this is this is the boss for it I just I just don't like it at all uh, I think the stage is rubbish I think it's, I don't even know if it's, in, it's, it's only one act I can't even remember but the boss is terrible um, yeah it's just the weakest boss for me as in design wise looks feel in Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. I don't think there's a boss worse than this, personally. So yeah. I probably said it in my last video, I can't remember, but I'm gonna say it on this video. Uh, the Sonic Origins collection, I don't know why they didn't have this suite of options, visual options that Sonic Mania and Sonic Mania Plus has, like for scan lines and all that other stuff. It's just got you can make this game blurry or you can do it one to one pixel so I just played it one to one pixel but I would have liked those other options there because I think that really helped Sonic Mania Plus in its looks department why this collection didn't have it I don't know but that's just a side note so I talked about the worst boss and my worst stage now nah, my favorite boss this is my favorite boss Metal Sonic I didn't expect to see this in the game um, you might say well the background ain't all that and all that but even look once you hit him you notice the moustache on Robotnik, he gets angry. But this boss is just great. Um, I just I just loved it. I was just like, wow, a metal version. He made this. And the thing is, there's not even one of your friends in there. He just made this. He didn't make this around one of your friends to make some animal cyborg thing. No, this is just like a Terminator. 
excellent. Just great. I liked it so much. I'm going to show you this boss twice. Yep, that was the Origins collection. Now, this is the Mega Drive. So yeah, I just love this boss. It's just my favorite. I love Robotics music at the beginning of the stage. And then obviously this is the standard boss music, which once again is fantastic. And then once you defeat um, uh, the Metal Hedgehog, or Cyber Hedgehog, or Terminator Hog, or whatever this thing's name is, I don't remember now. I just know it's bloody fantastic. Um, I remembered to go, when to go up and when to go down, jump over him, stuff like that, that I did remember. But yeah, and I just love the, the music for um, when you find, this music here, for when you find Robotnik. It's great. It's just fantastic. Yeah, I mean the boss fight isn't the best. I didn't do optimally, so, but I did beat him. But yeah, it's, oh, I love the last two bosses of the game. Yeah, fighting in space, everything. This Sonic 2 is just great. It's fantastic, man. Play this game. Go ahead and play it. Um, if you prefer Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, or you prefer Mania and Plus, that's all fine as well, but I really think this was such a great sequel and improved upon all the areas. Oh, look, some glitch in there on the original version. Yeah, it improved upon what the foundations that were laid by Sonic 1 and it built a really strong house there, really did. And um, on that strong house, Sega did their best to shit on it. Oops, my bad for swearing. But crap all over it and knock it down for eons of worse versions of Sonic I've ever seen. And then it just became a meme. And people just thought Sonic was crap because of what Sega did after that. But that's just my feelings on the map. So that about wraps up this video for my Sonic 2. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you do, you can like the video. If you want to subscribe go ahead and do that if you don't you don't no biggie um yeah i think i explained the bonus stages already um they were pseudo 3d those look like you remember that mega drive game flicky is it flicky or something like that those look like the birds from that um but yeah um the bonus stages were some pseudo 3d thing um on the origins collection you can use your coins if you fail to redo it just like on sonic 1 and probably sonic 3 and sonic knuckles as well i'll just show you that but anyway that's me um i hope you enjoyed this video and i'm out and i'll see you in the next one peace